Hey, what is going on, everybody? Let's get into another career mode episode. Today's we got a 2020. Let's do it. Hey, everybody, let's do it. Let's get this 2020 game underway and let's just try and absolutely smash out a massive score. Oh no, almost. Almost the first ball dismissal. But you can see the intent. Today, we're going to look to be very, very aggressive. And that already used like 5% stamina. That one shot. Oh, that's clever. Another one. Just got to build them more and more. Oh, this is now Oliver. Anything short, I'm probably going to pounce on. That one again, another fleeting edge. So I've sort of worked out a little bit about my game and how, you know, we, we want to be playing. We want to be playing attacking shots. We want to be playing somewhat aggressive. Um, we don't really want to hit in the air too much, although if, we can't, if, if we're good enough, I guess do that. That one smashed down the ground for uh, a solid one because of the stumps being in the way. But, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I want us to really show some force, so some real intent about how we can play. We're yet to hit a six in our career so far. I'm yep. sure it's not that far away, but even shots like that, we're hitting them fairly well. Um, but just the fielders are in the way, and I think that's obviously going to come with time and effort and more skill points and, and things like that that'll really just bump us up. But I really just want to prove myself as a really, really quality yeah. batsman. And again, and uh, I mean, the pitches don't help. We're playing on pretty shit pitches. So once we do get on some better pitches uh, that actually have a little bit more bounce to it. I mean, it's strange that every pitch is very soft. You would have thought there'd be at least a tiny bit of variety. I'm sure it's it's very similar to the fact that a lot of club grounds maybe don't have very hard pitches. But uh, you, still, you still want to see something a little bit uh, different for at least starting off. Oh, and an inside edge that goes for runs. It's just uh, devastating. No, there's just a the one. Oh my goodness, Randolph has bowled himself. That ball was very, very wide. And have a look at this. He's chopped it on from a very long way out. Again, we are like risking it all for the biscuit. It's a single. Two for 32 after five. This is one, this is, this is 2020, right? Can I remind everybody of that? Yeah, this is 2020. And after five overs, we're two for 32. That's no good. Jeez, I've even tried to absolutely pound that one out of the stand, but it's gone for nothing. It's kind of rubbish, I think, that obviously spin bowling is the, uh, obviously the, the most overpowered thing in this game. And the most underpowered thing is actually batting. I feel like batting has taken too much of a nerf from the previous uh, previous game, it just seems like it's very. You don't you don't have the same oomph that you used to have, and I get that obviously. Like you want it you want it to be a grind to get to that point where you can be a really really yep. classy player, but it's just almost uh, a bit ridiculous at times, where uh, all of these pitches we're playing on are really really slow and crap, and uh, as a pace bowler, I mean as a yeah, as a pace bowler, it's obviously hard to get wickets on it. And as a spin bowler, I mean, having the pitch at your advantage as well obviously works. As we uh, come back for another two here. This is a 2020. We need to be scoring runs and scoring a lot of them. 18 from 15. Confidence level at uh, a high point. Yes, again. Again, it's just a one. Oh, that's not bad either. It's just one, though. Although, although, that's two. Yep. Again, hit it down towards that mid-on region, and we, we are looking for that second again. Chapman oh. turning, and they've done well again. So another good two. End of the eighth over, two for 60. Yeah. And that's over mid-wicket. That looks good. Beats that man, and it's four. It's probably the best shot I've hit so far. Yep. Oh, even that was clever. You knew that there was in a field a very fine. And they pick up another easy two. So at the end of the ninth over, two for 71. And again, we got 10 off the last over. And look at that. Mid-on fielder is up. Oh my goodness, I've almost bowled myself. Did you see how much that ball seemed? What is happening? Look at this ball seam. I mean, I stepped out to it very much. 
a long way, but oh damn it, it was very close. I really want to hit through the cover gap. There's a big gap there. Oh, don't catch that ball, because I definitely hit it. It's a one. <laughs> Spinner on. And I'm going to sweep a single and possibly a run out. And I almost ran that guy out unintentionally in the end, too. Chapman's playing well. He's actually hogged the strike a bit of late. 13 overs down. Two for 102. We're probably on track for 150. Our current run rate. Maybe 160. But I'd like to think we can get maybe 170. Again, failing to utilise the uh, the strengths at our disposal. No run there. Alright, the spinner back on. Andy, uh, where are you hitting him? Yep. No! Late on that one, apparently. I do want to go sort of a slog sweep in this area. You can see square leg and backward short leg are both inside the circle. So if we can actually hit it in between them, and then it's four. Unfortunately, the challenge is hitting it in between them. So I'm going to get a single here to finish the over. Two for 128 after 15. Willard, the spinner, is on. I'm really just trying to get something going off him. What do you reckon? I can, I can see there's a big gap behind square on the leg side. There it is. That's exactly what I was looking to do. It had been frustrating me for a little bit of time that I hadn't been able to hit a boundary. But on this occasion, very happy that I got there. I'm just going to open up my stumps a long way. Yeah, there'll be a one here. I'm just going to maximise every delivery if I can. Chapman, 84 from 47. How on earth has he managed to do that? Is there two here? I mean, I'm thinking about it. Definitely not. <laughs> and that's the 150 up with three overs to go. So we could still get to 180. It would be a really handy score. Yep. No. No, I want the strike. End of the over. Two for 150. Field has changed again. Plenty of gaps opened and closed. Yep. Again, we're just going to get a tight, tiny single. It's the finger spinner on now. So, with two overs to play. Yeah. That's in the gap. And we'll pick up a couple again. So, as I said, two overs to play. We're on uh, two for 155. Which means we only end up getting four or five off that last over. A little disappointing. This Chapman's on 89. He's probably wanting to close in on 100. But I'm going to have to put that responsibility up to him to do that. I'm going to make uh, another two here. Because I'm all about the, you know, obviously Andy Owen's a team player. But he also wants to get himself a half century. And that's exactly what he's just done. Have a look at him. Very happy with himself. Only the two fours in that 50. Which is something you wouldn't expect. Um, just the two fours to have such a good, strong strike rate. It's a no run there. Gee, there was actually no appeal. And it's a bit strange because it, it, it felt like it was out. Well, there's a couple more here. Again, they push the twos. And I think that's been a staple of what my innings has become is a lot and a lot of twos. Because you can't, when you can't hit boundaries, when you just don't have the sheer force to hit them, and uh, you... Uh, then you just manage to chip it back to the bowler. It's just a massive disappointment. These slow wickets continuing to be problematic, especially against the spin. Well, you can't quite get it over the bowler's head there. Andy Owen gone for 52. Caught and bowled stain. 3 for 161. I think it's going to be enough. I think whatever we make is going to be enough to defend. And we are going to get a little chance with the ball. So we'll see what we do with that as well. The captain is going with Andy Owen. They're none for 40 from their opening five overs. I think they were slightly further ahead of where we were in the power play. Oh, again. Getting in the right areas. Oh, nice again. It's just beautiful. It really has been. This is 10 consecutive dot balls from my bowling, and it just keeps pushing the rate out more and more. This will be three overs, none for five, if I manage to somehow snag another maiden over here. 
Especially forcing Carol to really just uh, have all kinds of trouble. God damn it, Carol. Oh, and an outside edge, but uh, there's no run from it. So it is another maiden. I bowled two of those. Not bad. And I will be bowling my fourth over here in another second here. And we've got VJ on strike, but he's just picked up the one. Which means we will be bowling once again to Carol, who's had trouble facing us. Who's had 12 consecutive dot balls against our bowling. And you would expect us to actually really force the issue here. There's a wicket. It was only a matter of time. You just block them up. And eventually they're going to want to take you on. Andy Owen takes the wicket. And Carol will depart. Three balls left in my spell. I've bowled one for six. That's in the air. I reckon the... Oh, no, I was going to say, I thought the fielder could get there, but it's four. McLaughlin hits the boundary. Oh, and again, it's nice. It's a dot. So one ball to come. If I bowl this one well, they're going to need about 14 and over, which is a very, very difficult thing to chase. And that's a dot. So from the last eight overs, they need 102, which is what, 12 and a half and over? Something like that. I thought it was 14. I was wrong. James Potter, Harry Potter's father, is coming into bowl. He's got some left arm fast mediums about him. Oh, that's a nice nut, James. It's a bit of magic about that one. And James Potter will be coming into bowl the last over. They need 13 from it. Oh, yes, mate. That's nice, James. This is obviously pre-Voldemort, so he's still alive at this very stage. 13 from 5 required now. How much magic can Potter conjure? Oh, that's a good ball. It's back to four balls. A couple of dots to start us off. There's plenty of wizardry going on here. And that one's in the air, and that one's four. So, he's misfired with that spell. Oh, I'm going to see how many bloody magic jokes I can make. Potter coming in again. Bowls like a muggle. No, it was terrible. It's a terrible reference. Come on, Dean. You can come up with a better joke than that. Eight from two. So they, they need m multiple boundaries in order to win this game. Or, or obviously six and a two uh, is the other option. But that one's in the air. I think the fielder should get to this and cut it off. He does. He keeps it to one. And they will just keep it down to something there. I think a bit of flippendo magic in that last delivery was great. And all of a sudden, uh, it's down up to the other team to conjure something to produce a victory. They're not going to get it. James Potter has delivered. What a magical last over to keep them to just seven runs. And that means I don't care about your partnership. whoop de doo You just lost the game. Don't be celebrating nothing. Because the Richmond Cricket Club have won by five runs. Potter outstanding in the end. As we take a look at some of the highlights of these shots, I'm not really caring too much. But here's the wicket. By Andy Owen, you all wanted to care about. Had a big couple of overs and all of a sudden, they wanted to take him on. And Randolph takes the catch. So we get back, we deliver. Owen Chapman was the player of the game. He had 96 from 57 deliveries. I made a solid 52 from 41. And 1 for 10 from 4 overs. So economy was superb at 2.5 with the ball. Um, was very good and obviously on the other te other teams side of things at an 80 from Harrison VJ and a 47 from Matthew that's 80 from 30 by the way that is extremely good and I kept them to just two and a half and over so it was definitely some uh, some stuff going on there so I wonder what it's gonna take to get my form level so I do wonder what it is gonna take to get my form to increase because if we have a look at our stats in our Manhattan uh, we've hit 50, 50, three, three 50s in our opening six or seven matches. It's been a really good start to our career. And uh, obviously you can see the most recent ones there on the left. So 50, 20 something and 50. I don't know what the, uh, the, the way we can improve our form would be. We're still averaging in that 40 mark. Uh, our best bowling, two for 47. Not bad. I took that, obviously won that, the one for 10. The last one, and you can see uh, our form here is just on the... You know, on the steady. Uh, I would love to see our form increase at some stage because it's still at that steady point. And uh, obviously, we're going to level up hopefully 
pretty soon. We've got some more three days, 50 overs, 2020s to go. Keep doing them and we'll keep smashing through these episodes and I hope that we can get out of club cricket fairly soon and really push on and, and find ourselves in the state side. And hopefully, uh, because I haven't seen too much of this, these headlines start to mean something and we start seeing our name in the newspaper and things like that because obviously club cricket at the early stage you're not going to see a hell of a lot of that stuff so we'll see how we go with that we're still opening the batting which i think is uh, a bold call but I, I like it it's a brave call especially at this early level but uh that's something we'll look at in the future thank you guys for watching today leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and until next time i will see you all later goodbye Oh, there's two in that as well. Surely there is. No, there's not. There's just one. So I want to try and get as many boundaries as I can in the next little period here because obviously we, we're comfortable with getting ones and twos and singles and, and, and maybe even the odd three, but it would just be lovely.